Happy Friday, everyone. This is No Edits Crypto, episode 124, brought to you by shortthebanks.com over on uh, Twitter, shortthebanks. Uh, everybody, uh, go check out their website and uh, follow on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter if you're over there at the same time, at rbryer, R-B-R-Y-E-R, 2-3. Into the news, three stories today, and the market update. Mt. Gox's Mark Carpellis found guilty over data manipulation in Tokyo court. Mark Carpellis, former CEO of long defunct Bitcoin exchange Mt. Gox, has escaped some charges but been found guilty of manipulating exchange data in a Japanese court. According to a report from the Wall Street Journal on Friday, the Tokyo District Court found Carpellis guilty of wrongfully making electronic records connected to Mt. Gox's books, but innocent on charges of embezzlement and breach of trust. Carpellis was handed a, sus a suspended sentence of two years and six months. He must maintain a good record of the next four years to avoid jail time. The court's verdict uh, comes almost five years after Mt. Gox filed for liquidation in April 2014 after claiming it was hacked for 850,000 Bitcoin some of which, of which was later found. According to the Wall Street Journal, Carpellis lawyers wrote in their final argument to the court, Mt. Gox did not collapse because of the defendant's wrongdoing. On the contrary, the, the defendant was trying his hardest every day to prevent the collapse. In December, uh, Japanese prosecutors were seeking ten year, a 10-year sentence for Carpellis for embezzlement, alleging he sued, or he, he used about $3 million of customers' funds for his own personal use. So, uh, looks like he has been found guilty, but will avoid uh, being behind bars. Into the next story, um, which is back competitor CoinFlex is seeing some uh, competition uh, from, uh, or excuse me, back competitor CoinFlex sees investments from Polychain and Digital Currency Group. This is from the Bitcoinist. Um, Digital Currency Group and Polychain Capital have become the latest high-profile investors in physically delivered crypto futures exchange, CoinFlex. Uh, to CoinFlex presents its, itself as the world's first physically delivered cryptocurrency futures exchange. According to a press release, the platform has managed to attract two more high-profile investors in the face of Barry Silver's Digital Currency Group and Polychain Capital. They have joined a consortium of other investors in the project, including, including Dragonfly Capital Partners, Roger Ver, and Trading Technologies. Per the same release, the platform also introduced its very own FlexCoin, a token designed to promote liquidity and to reward early trading activity. According to the announcement, traders will receive a certain amount of Flex proportional to the volume that they trade and relative to the total daily volume on the exchange. Speaking on the matter was Mark Lamb, CEO of CoinFlex, who noted, with, Coin, uh, with FlexCoin, we want to reward early traders of the platform and build a loyalty using a shared exchange coin. We have a growing set of high-profile pro, high backers, a clear roadmap for delivery, and are moving closer to our goal of promoting and helping crypto futures trading, crypto futures, uh, trading achieve its full potential. So, back getting a little competition uh, going there. Into, uh, we all know that uh, competition is the best thing we can have in this and uh, for private money overall. Into Canadian news, they're proposing regulatory framework for cryptocurrency exchanges. Uh, Canadian financial regulatory authorities are considering putting in place rules for cryptocurrency exchanges in the country. The Canadian Securities Administrators, CSA, and the Investment Re Industry Regulatory Organization, IIROC, published a cons consultation paper on Thursday seeking input from the fintech community on how regulatory requirements can be developed for cryptocurrency platforms. The emergence of digital and crypto assets continues to be a growing interest uh, area of interest, said Andrew Craigler, President and CEO of IIROC, in a separate statement on Thursday, adding, we must adapt to innovation and provide clarity to the market about how regulatory requirements must be, uh, must, might best be tailored and applied to these unique business models while maintaining investor protection. So Canadian news as they move forward with their regulations. Currently Bitcoin is up over $50 for the day at 
3,967. Hopefully it's over 9,000 here soon. Ethereum up 2.89%, 137.97. Litecoin up 4.4%. Getting inching closer and closer to break that $60 uh, mark. Looking forward to that. 58.99 USD. EOS up 3.28%, $3.72. Bitcoin Cash, uh, which has been super quiet the last month, is up 7.82% today, $144.63. It's pretty much leading the market right now. Two, uh, the last 24 hours that is. Two, Monero up 2.84%, $52.30. Dash up 1.44%, $91.27. Dash has had a nice week. Neo up 1.97%, $9.33. Ethereum Classic up 2.27%, $4.46. Two, Steam up 2.08%, $0.47. And lastly here, but not least, Flashcoin up 4.59% at 0 .0035%, uh, or 0 0.0035, tenths of a penny. Uh, to aggregate market cap, 138 billion, 242 million, 500,000, and Bitcoin dominance under 50.5% uh, at 50.46%. Aggregate market cap up about six billion dollars in the last 36 hours or so so everything uh looking pretty solid here in the market uh still seems like uh, we're heading back up in the bearish uh bearish line and then the sand has uh been broken i guess it looks like uh we are heading up but this is not financial advice uh do your own research as always everyone have a good uh friday evening